Hi and welcome back to my channel. To this morning we're going to quickly make this specific type of facial scrubby. And this one has a holder for your fingers to go through. This is a very simple and easy pattern. And only consists of three rows and will take you about five to six minutes. So this is the, the yarn I'm using. It's cotton. But because it's so thin, I'm going to double it and use it. And I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. You will start this project with a magic ring. Let me just get some, old, uh, some yarn there. So you're going to make your magic ring and you're going to chain two. Please be advised, chain two counts as your first double crochet. Now you're going to do 13 double crochets. So in total, including that two chain that you made, you'll have a total of 14 when you get to the end of this row. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. There will be much more content this year. Turn on your notifications so that you know when I post. Right, we're nearly there. I'm just pulling the magic ring a bit, making it a bit more smaller. When you're at the end, you're going to join with a simple slip stitch into the very first stitch that you made. Alright, I'm just moving the tail to the back. Pull your tail nice and firm. So don't forget, chain two equals one double crochet. Slip stitch into the very first stitch and chain two. Into the same stitch that you did your chain two, you're going to make one double crochet. Into the next stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. So for so going forward, for it, in every stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. And that will give until you reach the end. So two double crochets in each and every stitch. That will give you a total of 28. And I'll meet you at the end of that specific row. Now when you get to the end, you're going to again slip stitch in the very last stitch. Now you're going to chain one. Chain one will count as your first single crochet. And you're going to put one single crochet in each and every stitch, which will give you a total of 28. You're going to see your work is going to kind of, what is the word? Um, look like a bowl and you want that effect for this specific scrubby you want it to take the shape of a bowl so i'm going to meet you at the edge there right can you see it looks domed right to finish this you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet chain one working in the back loops only make four single crochets in the next four stitches so one single crochet per stitch one and back loops two three four turn your work when you've done your fourth one and now work in both loops Immediately in the first stitch, single crochet, and single crochet the rest of the three stitches. You will com complete this until the little strap is big enough, sorry, broad enough, to go from one end of your scrubby to the next end of your scrubby.
you will keep on turning your work. I did 14 rows. Depending on how thick your cotton yarn is, that's how many rows you'll have to put in. So can you see it goes from one end to the other end? Right. Now I'm just going to slip stitch in the back loops. You see I'm turning this work. You want the, the reverse, the wrong side and the outside because you're going to turn it inside out. So slip stitch across those four stitches to join them. Alternatively, you can leave a long enough tail, make a chain, leave a long enough tail, pull a taunt, and use a darning needle and sew it in. I just found it quicker and easier to slip stitch it across. I'm still going to darn in the end of this tail. Now don't forget face scrubbies are reusable and you're saving the environment. I'm just pulling this and I'm making another chain because this I double this this um, cotton yarn. I'm going to thread a downy needle and go over those four stitches. Because I'm going to keep on throwing this in my washing machine, I don't want this to open up. So we are nearly done. And I'm just going to work my tail in. And cut the end yarns. I'm also going to do, to do um, the exact same thing for the tail that's coming from the center. Now don't forget we're still going to turn this inside out and then I'm just snipping the ends to neaten it up turning it inside out And here you go. I will be making a bigger face scrubby that can fit a man's hand. I hope you liked the video. I will definitely get you on the next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.